Left to right, we have Emma Jao, we have Sonia Vera, Carlos Delgado, and Amrinder Singh. Shining and beaming, ready to get to the first one. Thank you. Thank you. So much. To the outside, joining Odisha FC now and seeing the support you've received so far. What would you have to say about the fan culture in Odisha FC as well as the fan culture in general across the ISL from when you were up until now? Uh, good, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here. Okay. Um, Odisha, uh, when I had a meeting with, with them, with the club, uh, they explained to me the, the project. I think it's a club uh, is, is growing every day. Uh, I am very happy to be part of this family. Uh, before to come here, you know, uh, they won the, the Super Cup. Uh, means a lot uh, about the, the work uh deep before uh, this uh, this club and uh, i am here to try to help uh the head coach is one piece more in this uh project to try to help to to grow the club i am very excited with this project uh, as i told you before when i had a meeting with the, the owners david roger rohan raj uh, and they explained to me the project i felt uh, this is the place where uh, i want to work and I am happy to be part uh, of them, and hopefully we can we can grow more and to achieve uh, success in in the uh, short, medium, long term. And with a few familiar faces as well, along with you, you've uh, you've obviously recruited uh, Emma. How's it been working with him again? Yes, uh, you know, uh, as a coach, it's very important to implement quickly our style of play or idea. Uh, we need to we need to get results uh, immediately. We don't have time about this. Uh, and when you have players uh, who worked with you before, uh, it's helpful. It's helpful for me because it's easier to try to implement our style of play or idea. Uh, only not as a as a profile as a, as a players also as a person no i think it's very important to have a very good group because during the season there are good moments bad moments and the profile as a person is is very important for me as a coach uh, we know uh, everyone knows the the best players but also we need to have a very good person and to create a, a family to to fight together in in a good moments and in, in a difficult moments no. Okay, we'll start. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. So right now you said that you were convinced by the owners to come here. Can you just explain on that? Because you worked with the city football group before that and even before that with Mumbai City. This is a very uncharted territory compared to that. So can you just ex explain how you were, you were bought into this project? Uh, uh. Yes, uh, I am coming from City Football Group. It was an amazing experience for me working in, in Mumbai, you know, uh, and also in China. Uh, I think uh, I have a, a big challenge, a new challenge, uh, joining with, uh, with Obisa, but I, ac I accept this challenge. In my career as a coach, and now 27 years working as a head coach in a different clubs, in a different countries, uh, always, I want to 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 get uh, good uh, challenges, and I think to win something with Odisha will be very special because there are some teams they are favorites, uh, they have pressure because we need to win compulsory, and we want to win also. Obviously, we are professionals, we are ambitious. But we are playing with enthusiasm. We are we are playing with excitement. We don't we don't feel pressure. Uh, we are fighting for everything. Every game for for us is important. We are going to compete in, in a different competition. Amazing season uh, ahead. But uh, if I am here, it's because I think I have a big challenge. But I accept the challenge. So what made you change your mind at the last moment? And is it the pressure of the supporters or the pressure of performing in every match uh, like a team uh, with, uh, with a team like this Bengal has made you to 
I don't know if I changed uh, my mind in the last minute. If you are speaking about this and I respect your opinion. Uh, I don't want to speak with the past. I have uh, fully respect for all the teams who are participating in, in ISL. And uh, I think uh, the most important thing is, uh, is not about the, to speak about the offers I had before. Uh, I am here, I am happy working in, in Odisha FC. Uh, and this is the, the, the reason uh, I am working here. I have uh, a lot of respect uh, to East Bengal. I think it's a, an amazing club with uh, a lot of supporters. You know the history of the club. Uh, also, all the clubs in ISL are, are very good clubs, very good teams, with very good fan base uh, behind. And uh, if I decide to come here, uh, I can explain to you why was the reason. But I think it's not the moment to explain the why reasons I didn't accept other offers, not only Ismail. No? Uh, finally, I am very happy working in, in Odisha and uh, let's, uh, let's work together to try to achieve success. I wanted to know if, if the COVID restrictions in China, which were quite difficult for people to live with, did that influence your decision in wanting to leave China and come to India as well? apart from everything that you said? Absolutely, 100%. It was a very difficult experience uh, later, especially the first season in a bubble. Uh, with my brother, with my wife, uh, it's not easy. When you arrive to China, you need to expand 14 days in a hotel. Uh, you cannot choose the hotel, you cannot choose the food. Uh, if you are lucky and there are no positive cases, uh, only 14 days. If there are positive cases, maybe 40. 40 days you need to expand uh, there. Uh, we are living in a bubble, but uh, different situation. The last bubble I, I live uh, in, in India. And one of the reasons uh, was uh, also the, the COVID, the difficult COVID situation around the world, but also, also in China. Right, uh, Emma, I just want to bring you into the conversation. The coach has spoken about his relationship with you. I wanted to ask you about how you've seen the growth of Indian players around you in your time with the league so far. Who would you identify as some of the more talented Indian youngsters that you have played against in the league so far? They can be from Odisha or from any other teams as well. Hello uh, everyone. Yes, uh, I play with a lot of young players here in India more than you now six years. I saw a lot of players growing in, in, in India, like uh, how we say now in Rajasthan or Mandir, they were with me in Goa, and growing a lot, like Navas in Mumbai. A lot of players, they have been growing a lot in the last three, four years. That's it. Uh, also, they are, they are, they was, they are, um, they was good players, and they are now also good players. And they are good, uh, good talent, and they will be good. And like, like youngsters, like, uh, like Amrinder, yes. Right. Okay. Uh, yes. Next question over here, please. Uh, my question is to Amrinder. I am Munal from Ajkan New Delhi. Amrinder, as you have played for a long time for other clubs, and now you play. Uh, also, you the last time you played for Orissa, and now you won the Super Cup, and and you have uh, that AFC Cup in, in in front. Actually, you have to play AFC Cup. You have to play IFL as well. So how difficult is to balance the both the fundamentals and what is the aim for the AFC Cup 2 also to how to where to reach and now because you have a very strong contender Mohan Bagan who, who also you know from the very beginning of your career. Yeah, of course it's a bit difficult, but uh, as a player you need to manage all the situation. Uh, and uh, I play before this competition and uh, it's, it's not easy to uh, manage, but uh, of course as a professional player you have to take care of your body and you have to respect the schedule and uh, do your job properly. And uh, yeah, of course uh, we have uh, this year national team games also. and. Uh, uh, AFC, ISL, all the in same time. 
and uh, as a player you need to manage like you have to most important like sleep well rest well eat good and just take care of yourself and uh, take uh, medical team help and just be ready for next game and we we as a player we think uh, one game by one is not like uh, we need to think about all season we go one by one and then it's most easy, easy way to go Opponent Mohan Bagan in your group, how would you actually remember? Could you uh, hold the mic closer to your mouth? I am already uh, asking the question. Since you are asking a follow up, you might as well ask it properly. Now, one thing is I have asked you about your opponents in the AFC Cup, like that you have Mohan Bagan, whom you know from the very beginning, and Botswana. So, how do you actually like, assess them? Yeah, we have four, three, 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 three team more in the group. Of course, uh, they all are very strong team, and uh, of course, Mohan Bagan, we know know them, we know their players and everyone. I think it's most important to focus in ourselves and uh, what is our coach plan, we need to focus over that and uh, I think we have an uh, experienced uh, team and experienced uh, so many players and young players and we have good mix, mix, mixture and uh, I think we can manage better this season. Yeah, at the back please. Uh, Amrinder, hi. Uh, here, here. Uh, yes. Uh, hi, I am Dhiman. I work for the Hindustan Times. I, mean that, uh, I wanted to know how different is Odisha FC this season from last season and how much has last season's experience of being among the top six will help you going forward this year where you are also playing in Asia? I think it's, this year is a big moment for, uh, as a player for me also, as a club, as a state also, we have big moment to represent India. and. Uh, uh, of course, uh, if you see uh, last few years, uh, they are growing up slowly, slowly and if you see like uh, they shift to Visa from uh, last four years and they are growing up very fast and last season of course we finished very good and now we have responsibility to start good and I think all the management and uh, all the coaching staff, all the players, they know uh, what we have uh, now responsibility to do well this season. Uh, I think we are ready and we are very focused to do well in all competition. Yeah, let me know that. Yeah. Ah, this is question for jo Coach. I am George Rotary Spot on News. Thing is that a uh, very formidable side is we are Urisha You have the foreigner, you have no Murita Lafal and something like that, Jahu. Uh, is it an advantage to you and uh, what, what is your expectation in the ISL? Uh, I have very good players. It's not about names. Uh, if you want to go, if you want to win, to win trophies, you need uh, 25 players. It's not possible to win trophies with only three, four, five, six, seven uh, good players, or only with uh, very good foreign players. Uh, you know, you need to play with seven Indian players on the pitch. Uh, it's very important to build uh, a winning team in the global perspective more than the individual names. Obviously, I have a very good players. I am very happy with the, the team we are building. Uh, all expectations is the same, I think, the, all the teams. Uh, everyone wants to win. Uh, but we need to be realistic. We are going to play against uh, very good teams, uh, strong teams uh, with uh, big budgets. Uh, uh, but. We, we don't feel afraid. Uh, we are excited about this. You know, using that, uh, I am a Spanish, using as an example in Spain, there are Real Madrid and Football Club Barcelona, big teams, but Atletico Madrid uh, won the league also. Uh, we, we try to fight for everything, obviously. We are ambitious and hopefully we can we can get our supporters uh, that uh, they deserve uh, and continues with the, the work the club is doing in the last seasons, especially in the last season, uh, achieving something important to win the, the Super Cup. Hi, uh, this, is, this question is for Amrit. You are a very important part of uh, the national team. Um, how are you dealing with, the, with all the outside noise surrounding uh, the national team right now with respect to the Asian Games, with respect to the court situation. Uh, how are you dealing with it personally? Uh, it's, 
if you see it, I say from my part, like, uh, first of all, I'm not in social media and all, I don't check these things, uh, it's not my part to do, and uh, it's for me, it's most important in my training, like next session, I focus on that only, then whatever decision come to me, I always uh, respect and uh, I do my part, and for me as a player, most important to do my training well, and whatever happen, it will happen uh, good for me. Give me that the back piece of the waiting. Yeah, hi coach, this is Sachin from AVP. Uh, I just want to ask, uh, last time the, uh, we saw team finishes at the 6th position and uh, how excited you are for this uh, season and what are the new things we can uh, see this time? Uh, this, in football, the past is the past. Uh, we need to put the focus in the present. Obviously, we can forget, we cannot forget uh, something important. Also, a lot of people is telling me, do want everything in, in India, but means nothing. Now, we are need to put the focus in the present. The last season was uh, a different team, a different situation. We are putting the focus uh, and working as hard as possible to prepare well the first competition game uh, in IFC Cup against Mugumbagan. Also in ISL, if it's possible to improve, always we are going to work to, to improve the, the, the position. But I don't like to compare. I don't like to compare the season, I don't like to compare the players, I don't like to compare, don't like to compare. Because comparing is, is I think it's wrong, well because every every year is different, every team is different, every squad is different. I think it's the most difficult competition, will be the most difficult ISL in the last years. I know very well uh, ISL because you know uh, I I worked it before here. But knowing the teams now in this moment, I think maybe will be the most difficult competition, the most difficult ISL. Uh, and uh, we need to work very hard if we want to achieve or improve the, the level of the uh, last season. Right. Gentlemen here, please. Yeah. And then we'll move on over there and uh, wrap up with Hello, uh, this is Shorani from Mike. Yeah, my first thing to Ami that there was a devastating uh, earthquake in your country, Morocco. I hope your family and your close ones are doing well. So, yeah. And now my question is for Sakyo. Yeah, Sakyo, the thing is that, yeah, we know that there are developments that are happening for Orisha. You last season you did extremely well, but in the Gunan Cup, you struggled, you lost two matches in your group stages and you got ousted from the group stages itself. So do you think it's just an anomaly or do you think there are, you know, deeper, you know, changes or improvements that need, needs to be done ahead of the ISL season? You're asking about the Gulen Cup? Yeah, you, you got you got you know eliminated from the group stage. Do you think it's just an anomaly or do you think it's it will it means uh you know we didn't play the we didn't play, 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 play I know that, I know that, but do you think that there will be a complete radical change even if the, when the first team arrives in the ISL? Or what are your you know general expectations? Yes, uh over precision was very good. Uh, we didn't lose any game. Uh, we spent 23 days in Thailand, and I think the, the club gave me the tools to work as a coach in the best scenario to prepare well the competition. The expectations in ISL, uh, I uh, answered it before. Uh, we want to to fight uh, for for everything uh, with a lot of respect uh, the opponent teams, but. We don't feel afraid to compete against uh, all the teams. Uh, we don't have the, this problem. And about the radical changes, I, I don't believe about this. Uh, when there are a club or team, they are doing some things well. You need to continue this work, and I you need to try to improve with uh, my idea in this case as a coach. But uh, they are doing uh, very very good things, and my job is to keep. To, to do these good things and to try to improve if it's possible in, obviously, in a lot of things. Right. Yes, please. That's right. Uh, hi, uh, Dima, again, this is a question for Amrinder, uh, a follow-up to an earlier question. Now, as someone who's regularly played for India, as someone who's had a long club career, how difficult is it as a player to choose between club and country. Forget forget what the club wants to do, forget what the nation wants. As a player, how difficult does it become to choose between club and country, something a lot of players are having to choose now? No, it's not about choose, like of course, uh, 
uh, to play for India is the uh, most important as a player. And uh, at the same time, you, if you see to play football in a club is more um, important also. And uh, as a player, I think uh, we never face any problem like this to we need to decide. I think all the clubs agree and uh, we always go there. And of course, I think this is a club call because I, I play for them and uh, it's management and club have to decide with the national team coach what is good for players and uh, what they need to do in future. And uh, it's, I think it's uh, not that I can help or I can do something to uh, communicate and all. It's most important the coaches and uh, management need to decide and with the national team coach and uh, then you can things go easy. Uh, questions for Jalga uh, My name is Munal, I am from Atika newspaper. So, you know, one thing is that as you will start the AFC Cup campaign first against the Mohammedan Super Change here, and now then you, you go for ISL. So, will it uh, match against Mohammedan will help you to organize your team and to know you better, to play yourself better understanding? Yes. Um, and this season for us is very special, no? Because we we will play for the first time the AFC Cup, and we know the level that Mumba uh, has. But we try to do the the best of of us, no? Because we are a very good team, very good profile. We are working hard, and we are prepared for for this game, and also for the Indian Super League. As you know, I I am totally happy with, with the coach. This season will be different because many teams we we compete for for the same objective. Um, for us, it's it's, it's special uh, for for this reason. Uh, let's see, we will try working hard and together, and let's see, we we want to improve that last last table position from last season. Uh, let's see. Last question to the gentleman over here. Ah. Question for Amrinder. Considering that the team said that your yeah, coach is a very experienced, uh, this is my view. Urisha FC is the dark horse of the tournament for the ISL wrestling. Are you agree with these views? Is it dark horse? Of course, I think we have experience and uh, we have most of the players, I think all of the foreigners, players and uh, coach, they have experience uh, in Indian football and uh, I think in India it's most important like uh, if your players know the league well, it's not like it's important if you see from last nine years in the league, if you lose two games you can be on the top, if you lose two games or three games you can be in six, seven position. I think it's most important to be calm and do your job well and uh, just you know, work day by day and uh, keep continue. You can say, Amrinder, certainly you are calm and you do do your job well. Uh, and uh, you know, like Coach said, it's about immediate results for the team this season and we look forward and are excited to see how the team develops this season. So thank you so much for your time, gentlemen. And uh, we have now